what's up youtube welcome to more trades welcome to another update of bitcoin bitcoin has been rallying up I haven't posted a video in a while but in the discord i keep them updated on my possible uh, scenarios that could occur on the markets and my next trades whenever i take one now i'm looking at bitcoin and clearly we are or have been since the lows over here in some sort of a bull market since the lows of January 2023 or just before that and we are getting to our previous all-time highs which we could get up there or even exceed them now I'm looking at some possibilities that this is a beginning of something or it's the end of something if it's the beginning of something then there is a possibility that this whole move up could have been a one two three four a one two three uh, from the lows and we're waiting for a big four to come in and a five meanwhile while we're waiting for another four it looks like over here if we look at the four hourly we had a small uh, pullback over here and I'm expecting another high another spike high that could take us up to 67 to uh, 65 to 67,000 now whenever that happens it could go higher but when that happens then I'll be expecting even a deeper pullback. Now, my deeper pullback could take us to some very low levels. Now, I'll show you what I'm looking at. And uh, let's go back to this chart on the daily time frame. <coughs> this entire move up, the one, two, three, four, and this is a fifth wave that has a one, two, three in it, and we're having a fourth and a fifth. Then we'll be completing this bigger third wave, and whenever it finishes, then we'll be looking at, suppose we end this wave at 67.3, then we could have a pullback all the way to 52.900. Depending where we stop, that's where we'll be looking at our pullback. Our pullbacks can come between 60,479 up to 52.899. Now we can't predict that and we can't know where we're gonna end up, but this is what I'm looking at. At the moment, we are hitting this Fibonacci channel and we're stalling at it as you can see where the red arrow is and if you go historically we hit it before and we stalled after rallying up we hit it we stalled at it made one higher spike another higher spike formed some bearish div between the RSI and the price action and we had a dump we had a significant dump from around the 32, 33 level all the way down to 25K. So now, that is a possibility. We are back to the same Fibonacci channel, the 1.618. We're pushing higher today, but there is a scenario where we could form bearish div like we formed over here. We stalled, we formed bearish div. As you can see, the green trend line at the same Fibonacci channel and we dumped. It's a possibility, it doesn't have to happen, but that's what I'm looking at. At the moment, it's a bit too late to, for me to decide to go long. I'm not gonna go long. I'm gonna wait for a possible opportunity to short it and maybe load up on a long, on a good, after a good pullback. The pattern being formed at the moment on the four hourly looks like the candy cane and it gave us the pumps up. If you look down and you go to smaller time frames you notice we had the candy cane patterns on the 15 minute time frame. You'll see that we had the, a lot of cups and handles over here that were telling us we might be moving up. Over here, we had a small form of a cup and handle over here, like a W, and then we moved up. Over here, we formed another one, and we moved up. Not very clear one, but on smaller time frames, if you go even lower, it might show over here, some sort of a W, a double W, and we moved up. So these patterns tell you something. And at the moment, looking at it, it looks like we are trying to form that over here. It was a bit clear that we're gonna move up. And then if you look at the bigger picture, it's like a big W. It's telling me that there is, over here, there were like three rising uh, troughs or three cups, but we dumped. It didn't work out, we spilt over. Now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it's telling me that we might be moving up. So those are the targets I'm looking at at the moment. Going to this other chart of mine, 
let's see we broke the 0.7786 retracement from the all all-time high the 69k zone uh we broke the value area high of 17th november to 2nd december 2021 range this was the fixed range volume profile for 2021 as the dates are stated we broke above them we came down almost a perfect retest and we're pushing higher let's see where we'll end uh, there is a lot of liquidity down there, but we could still push higher. 59,046 is a bounce zone I'll be looking at if we move higher. I expect the markets to even spike higher when Bitcoin moves higher. My Ethereum target was hit, I believe, or almost hit 3,580. We got to 3,531. My Nasdaq target was 18K. We're there about, we passed it, we surpassed it, and we might be going higher. Uh, S&P 500, I was saying in the group that if S&P gets to 5,000 and Nasdaq 18K, then Bitcoin could even see higher, and that's what's happening at the moment. One-to-one -one extension for the S&P is 52, 53. That's what I'm looking at. All right, uh, those are the targets for Bitcoin. Hope you enjoyed the update. If you did, hit the like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, in case we pump up, and get support above this uh, fib which would be above 62820 let's call it a 63k then for today the next Fibonacci channel is at 67250 which would meet my target of about 67k thanks for watching like and subscribe join the free discord more trades I'm out